Hi everyone, this is Miles from Quadcopter Land, and today we're going to show you how the obstacle avoidance system on this new Phantom 4 Pro operates. We're going to show you how it reacts when you fly into stop signs, power lines, even trees like the one right here behind me. One thing I need to stress to you is when you're flying this quadcopter, you need to make sure that you are in the tripod or the beginner mode. If you're in sport mode, the 360 degree is completely turned off. The front sensor is completely turned off. When you're in a normal mode, you can fly up to 31 miles an hour with just the front and rear sensors. Only when it's in the tripod in the beginner mode that it flies with 360 degree protection. So today we're gonna to be showing you a video on how to fly just in a beginner and the tripod mode. So that's the mode we're gonna stick in today. Today we're gonna to be doing our first obstacle avoidance and we're gonna test it around these bars right here. These bars right here. And we're gonna see just how well it can fly through this uh, overhang right here with these bars. So we're gonna give you that shot first. We won't let you go to the left. So let's try going forward. There's no obstacles. Obstacles, I'm sorry, so it will let you fly forward. Let's go ahead and turn on around. Let's go forward. Since there's nothing in front of it, it's gonna let you fly forward. So we're gonna go ahead and try going to the left, facing towards it with the camera. And as you can hear, it's not letting us go forward. It's not letting us go backwards either. Now the infrared sensors are on the sides, the vision sensors, uh, the uh, stereo vision sensors are in the front. Or, up a little bit, turn 180 degrees. As I was turning around, the front stereo sensors picked up the actual bar. So I'm going to go ahead and move it forward. Stop right here in the middle. We're going to try moving it left. It won't let me. Let me turn back to the right. It stopped me. It won't let me there. It looks like it's about Eight feet is when it stops. But if you see it on the back on the little green LEDs, when you go to the right, it'll stop and it blinks real fast. I'm sorry, real fast, the green LEDs. And then we go to the left. Same thing. It won't let me go any further, it starts to blink. Now when you put the vision sensors, you actually get the beep. And you can see the green LEDs are still flashing. So you go forward, it'll let you go. But now it's stopping again because it's sensing the bars on the right-hand side here. So that's the first part of our test. It looks like it, it keeps its distance away from any bars or anything like that. So next step is we're going to try the tree. Now let's try going to the side. stopping. It's not allowing me to go into the tree at all. So that's pretty good. Let's turn it the other way. Rear facing. We're going to go forward. Then we're going to try to go back. That's pretty good. It stopped that time. It did not let me go into the tree. Now we're going to see how well the sensors work if we try to fly into this tree. Looks like it's picking it up and it stopped and won't let me fly any closer. Turn it to the side. Looks like it's still beeping. See if I can take it into the tree a little further. No, it's not letting me. That's actually pretty good. All right, let's see what happens when you try to fly into a fence. Let's see if it stops. See how it stopped right there? Looks like it's not gonna let us. See how it's turning around? Let's move forward. Let's, let's move back. Let's see what we got. You hear that sound? It's not letting me do it. 
So that's a good sign that it's working like it's supposed to. Now we're going to see if it picks up this cable here on the ground. see if the phantom will hit the stop sign. We're going to put it right now, it's in beginner mode, so it's not going to fly that fast. As you see it stopped, it's not going to let me hit it. So let's go ahead and put it back and see what we got. Let's go ahead and try it again. As you can hear, it's beeping real fast the closer you get. We're going to go ahead and try it on the side. Let's go to the left. Now we're trying the infrared since it's on the right. Let's raise it up a little bit. And we're gonna try to go in as fast as we can in beginner mode. It looks like it stopped. And as you can see on the back, the little green LEDs are flashing really fast. So let's turn it the other way around. And try it that way so you guys can get a better view of what it looks like. So we're gonna try going to the stop sign one more time. See the LEDs, they're blinking bright green. It's not letting me fly into the stop sign. So the obstacle avoidance is actually working pretty well. Try to take it full speed into this light post. It's beeping to warn me, warn me that something is there, but I'm a little high, so let's bring it back. Take it a little bit to the right. As you can see from the sound, it's actually uh, beeping that's not letting me go forward. So let's try it on the side. Let's go to the left. Let's move it up a little bit and try hard to the right and see if it stops. See how to have to do that in emergency? It didn't work 100% of the time. So we're going to try that again. So it is true what they say, that if it's a black surface, it may have a hard time picking up on the infrared sensors on the side. Looks like the infrared is not, oh, now it's picking it up. But the point is, it's still a close call. If you're flying around anything with a black surface, you need to be careful because it looks like sometimes it doesn't pick up anything with a black surface. So you need to be careful with that. So I'm gonna try this again. Now it's picking it up, but you still need to be careful. Now on the front, as far as the uh, stereo sensor is concerned, it looks like it's picking up fairly well. So I think the stereos work a little bit better than the infrared on the side. Now we're gonna do a, try to do a fly over this little tiny log here and see what happens. Looks like it won't let me fly into the log as well, so if you move it up just a little bit. Still not letting me. Let's try going back. Because it sensed it, it has sensed it earlier, so now it's letting me fly over it. It's actually pretty cool. Let's turn it around. Try going the opposite direction. Let's see what we got. So you still got to be careful. It's not foolproof. Let's give it a shot again. Well, I did sense it that time, so that's actually pretty good. Let's turn it to the side. Let's see if it'll sense if you're going to the right. Oh, yeah, good job. It looks like it uh, sensed it there as well. As you can see from my obstacle avoidance test, which I hope that was enough for you guys, Definitely, uh, it is very good at avoiding obstacles. It's not 100%. I almost got a telephone pole and, and a, the log that was on the ground, one of the telephone poles that was laying on the, on the ground there and the pole outside. Compared to the original standard Phantom 3 that doesn't have any obstacle avoidance, neither does the, the Advance or the professional 
three. Now compare it to the regular four, the regular four is still a nice drone, but this one having 360 degree obstacles, only like I said in the tripod mode and in the beginner mode and then in the standard mode, you still got the front and rear sensors. I think this is geared more towards like when you're trying to do photography or trying to get a nice shot and you're next to, next to some trees or some obstacles, this is really nice to have. While trying to do it with something like this, chances are you're going to hit that tree if you're not paying attention. This will at least give you the upper hand or give you some sort of warning. But like I said before, it's not 100%. I did notice I've done some separate tests. It is true, if you're trying to fly into a mirror, it may not stop. You try to fly next to something that's real dark and black, as you saw that pole was, it still may not stop. So you need to be careful still where you're flying so you don't crash this $1,500 drone. So if you like my channel and you like all the information I gave you, please subscribe below and give me a thumbs up. Thank you for visiting.